The 17-year-old was one of the youngest members of the royal family in attendance at Prince Philip's funeral. Lady Louise took part in the heartfelt service alongside her 13-year-old brother James, Viscount Seven. The teenagers sat next to their mother, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, as the royal family celebrated the remarkable life of the Duke of Edinburgh, 99. The youngsters were both granted the huge honour of attending the service despite numbers being restricted to just 30, due to coronavirus. Louise and James were by far the youngest mourners permitted inside the chapel, as the great-grandchildren of the Queen were not allowed. Amongst the notable absentees, were the Duke of Duchess of Cambridge's three children, including their eldest and third in line to the throne, Prince George, seven. Lady Louise has been at the forefront of the public spotlight alongside her mother Sophie and father Prince Edward, since Prince Philip passed away on April 9. Louise was seen just yesterday with her parents viewing floral tributes left for the Duke outside St. George's Chapel. The teenager, who is studying for A-levels, also attended church with her parents on Sunday as they gave tributes honoring Philip. Lady Louise, who has a Gold Duke of Edinburgh Award like so many other teenagers in Britain, had chosen to pay a subtle but touching tribute to her late grandfather last week. After the news broke of Prince Philip's death last Friday the young royal was pictured riding on a carriage drive, a hobby she takes from the Duke of Edinburgh. Louise and James arrived at the service in St. George's Chapel by car alongside the Countess of Wessex, 56. Their father Prince Edward, 57, formed part of the emotional funeral procession alongside other senior royals, including his older siblings, Prince Charles, 72, Princess Anne, 70, and Prince Andrew, 61. The children and grandchildren of the Duke walked in groups of two and three behind a custom-made Land Rover carrying the coffin, which had Philip's naval cap and sword rested on top. Inside the chapel, the 30 chosen attendees were sat socially distanced and all wore face coverings. Louise, James and their mother Sophie, were seated on the same side of the chapel as Charles and Camilla. They were all positioned opposite to the Queen, who sat alone, and a space was left beside her where her late husband of 73 years would have sat. David Connor, the Dean of Windsor, said in the bidding, We are here today in St. George Chapel to commit into the hands of God the soul of his servant Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. With grateful hearts, we remember the many ways in which his long life has been a blessing to us. We have been inspired by his unwavering loyalty to our Queen, by his service to the nation and the Commonwealth, by his courage, fortitude and faith. In a statement on Friday, Edward paid a heartfelt tribute and thanked royal well-wishers for all their messages. Edward said, reading just some of the wonderful memories you have shared about your experiences of the Duke of Edinburgh's award and, in some cases, of meeting my father, has been truly uplifting. I think I may have said once that he was a man that once met, never forgotten. Edward added his late father had a unique ability to make a lasting impression in a remarkably short time. He added, he may have departed this world, but his spirit and ethos lives on through his award, through each and every life touched, transformed, inspired, then, now and in the future. Thank you one and all for helping to create such an extraordinary tribute.